Sup guys, my name is Seppo, and welcome back to another episode of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Uh, it's been a while since I last recorded an episode of this, I've been recording Get Out of Hell instead. And also because I had a chance to do that more than this, simply because I recorded like, I think it was episode 3 to 7 in one day. Oh, gee. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah. Oh, let me just... Um, yeah. So, I'm not too sure what we're supposed to do now, but I think we have to go this way. Could be a, could be a side objective. Or something like that. As long as it's not spacemen and zombies, um, then I'm, um, yeah, pretty happy. Just listen. Listen to that really. All we need now is some rain. Just such such a common sound sound. Yeah. Let me see here. Can we What was the point of going over here? Dang it! Maybe something will be here later we have to take a look at? I don't know. Oh well. Let's go back. So... I can't actually remember what it was... This... Like, I remember it was, I think, the father and the mother that was talking in here. Oh! I can... I can turn this. Um, oh yeah, when I loaded up the game, this machine stopped, so it's just... Oh, I have to tap. Not running here. I wonder what that does. And then it stops. No? Oh, then I can turn it back the other way and stop it. Okay, but what does that do? What significance does that have? Can I... No, the others are locked. This one isn't. Um... <clears throat> oh. Oh. I need to warm up my throat more before I... Need... Oh, and I can't go back out the way I came, either. So... Just going up here to get uh, a bird's eye view of things. Hmm. No. No. This. This just. Eh. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Why can I turn this on? Is it something outside? Do I have to go outside this way? Maybe. Maybe there's something now that I've done this. Let's see. Uh, now that I've done that, and have done that, uh, I've started that up again. Does that have an effect on something over here? Yes? No? Maybe? Perhaps? Possibly? No? Uh, I I don't understand. Uh, well, I can also walk around up here, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, what's the point of turning it on, though? I mean, I think it was turned on when we got like when we went in there. But that's all. Wait. This thing is ripped off its skin. Okay. But what is the point of turning it on? Is 
one's also locked. There's only one of them that I can turn on. And I cannot go back up. Oh, wait. Why? Why can I? Uh oh. Guys. I am afraid that. Uh, what if the mother comes after us now? I mean, we haven't found her corpse of the grandfather. We haven't found he, his corpse either, or even though, like, um, what was it? This guy said he said that the old people's uh, the old people wasn't if something that this evil force web games can use because not because of wisdom but because their anger isn't as effective as younger people's I don't understand why can I lock that door is it just because like it was locked before oh uh, this this puts me on edge I don't like it can I no okay I don't think there's any more in here, so let's just go this way. Um, although the dad said she had an accident, so dang it! Oh, this puts me on edge, and I don't like it. Just the fact that you can lock the door. I thought I saw something up there in between all the trees. Let's go look. It's not like that's... It's not like it didn't bite me in the butt before that I got curious about something. Totally not. It's not like I went into a mine and it turned out there were zombies in there. And it's not like I got abducted by aliens once because I got curious either. What's that? Is it water glitch or something I need to pay attention to? Let's just let's just go down here. And I who fear, uh, nothing. And I who think water is such a calming thing. Well, I thought I just heard something. <laughs> oh, why? This game is creepy as balls. Because balls are apparently really, really creepy. What? Something they are, apparently. But, uh, this the atmosphere here just a lot of things makes it so you you key it's really good like oh I don't know exactly how to put but I do in a way this game is not typical horror. It's not something where it's like we have something that's in your face and you have to run away, you have to hide. It's more like they keep you guessing so much all the time that, in fact, you make up most of the scares yourself. Just as an example, we can take me going while well, I've been going around here. Constantly it's been like... I just heard, think I heard something. I just think I saw something. And that, that, my friends, that's true horror. It's when you, uh, when you make up all the scares yourself, that's probably the best kind of horror. Of course, uh, well, at least in my opinion, some might not because they don't have an overreactive imagination. 
Like me. What if I lock it and it bikes, bites me in the butt? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe tap this again a bit. Let me stop it. Okay. Let's let's see. That's just running out like that. Wait. Can it be that I might control something over there? Back over and look. It's a good thing I have the magic of editing at my disposal. I have to remember that I don't interact with the like a normal game that I interact by clicking. That's the mine. We're not going down there again. <laughs> I'm too big of a scaredy cat to do that. Oh look! Now we can. I think we can actually cross here now. Yep. So that's that's that was the point. God, I'm, I've just wasted so much time on that too. Music. Okay, what do we got from the game? What do we got from? The game? No spacemen, no way, no, no, no spacemen, no zombies, please. No jump scares. That if, although I don't think you have any more jump scares than you. That one in the mine was plenty. Ooh, there's something down there. Oh wait, I was down there before. It's nothing. I mean. It looks peaceful and all, but we were warned that it isn't. Ethan was close. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. I thought he sent you a letter. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, right, right, I, um, I remember now. He told Ethan to run. That's what happened. Hello? Bears? No? Yeah, his dad told him to run. That's, that's what we saw inside the energy plant. Power plant. Damn thing. Look at this place. Just, just take a moment to take in the, take in the fresh mountain air. Okay, enough of that. We've taken in enough now. Man, this is beautiful. I really like it. I think there's something up here. Ah, oh, it's a burnt down house. Is, I wonder, is it the house that they were talking about? The house that Ethan went and disturbed something in? Could be, I mean, there's like lion statues out front. Hey, lion statues. So. So. This burnt down. The qu That's a weird kind of thing to do with the ground. Oh, there's like a face right there. <laughs> Just it's like a skull face or something. Anyway, uh, I wonder if. It was burned down while someone was in it. 
We have to find the incinerated corpse, corpse of someone. Or why? What? Like, there must be a reason why this burnt down house is here. Ah, look, 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 look. Right here. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Uh. Oh! Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, but which one is the start? I think this one is. Oh, see? Oh. Uh. Dang. Ah. V. U. S. I did it. Open door. Oh. God damn it. Oh, this place has been burnt too. Good. Wait, no, not good. Oh! Oh, don't come to lie! Please! Please, be dead, be dead. God. They're not giving me much to go on. Peaceful. Is this Ethan? No, it's the granddad. Okay. Well, nothing was really disturbed, so... Guess we have to figure out the events here. Okay. Well, this one is actually easy. One, two, three, four. I think. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergrift kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Wait. I can squeeze through. Oh, I see. It has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! Oh. We all have to die. Even you. Even me. That's some messed up stuff, man. <laughs> oh, it's opening the way for us. Also, uh, before we go, kind of looks like the zombies we saw in the mine. Space for one more guy. Wait a second. Where did it go? Oh! Hey, Ethan! Ethan, 
Wake up. Well, kid, you stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you... Are you really I'm here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. What? Wait. What? I don't... So I have to go back to the mine. I see. Well, it's time to end the episode here. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, don't be shy. Comment, subscribe. And until next time, see ya!